What exactly is Sea Monkey's red magic, and how does it work? In this series, we're taking a look at every single sea monkey pouch under the microscope and testing them out on real sea monkeys. These sea monkey vitamins are an alternative food option which can be used interchangeably with their regular growth food, but it does have a twist. This packet first made its debut in 1968 and features a Joe Orlando illustration on the front which shows an energetic young sea monkey bouncing around the house and annoying his dad after consuming red magic, while the back of the packet tells us a bit more about how we can use it. Red magic keeps sea monkeys in the pink. In the pink's an expression which describes a state of good health or well-being. It's a good pun. You can alternate your sea monkey feeding program with red magic sea monkey vitamins instead of their regular food. Just remember to avoid overfeeding by choosing one or the other. Never use both at the same time. And don't feed more often than recommended in the handbook. So, while the information on here doesn't mention anything about this food changing the colour of your sea monkeys, I had a look in my vintage sea monkey handbooks, which both list Red Magic as a product in their parts and supplies list. They give the same info about the vitamins in this packet, but they also go on to make the claim that Red Magic does indeed turn your sea monkeys red with continued use. Now, long-time watchers of the channel will know I love changing the colour of my brine shrimp with different foods, so this will be a lot of fun if it works. Let's open it up and check it out. To be honest, cutting these open feels a little bit weird. Since most of them aren't made anymore, it seems a shame to ruin them, but at least I can share this experience with you guys. So the Red Magic has a different smell to it to the other ones I've opened. It's still earthy, but has a spicier fragrance. It seems to look pretty similar to the others though, but let's have a look under the microscope to make sure. Okay, this one is definitely a little different. It has the salt and green food particles, but there's also some green and orange granules as well. Perhaps there is some truth to that claim of turning your sea monkeys red with prolonged use. Again, I had to do a bit of searching here, but I did indeed find some more sea monkey eggs, which is now starting to seem like a pretty standard addition in these pouches. Okay, let's test it out. I have a colony in this year 2000 sea monkeys on Mars tank who are all fairly green in colour because of the growth food and algae they've been eating. I think they'd suit this tank much better if they were a Martian red colour though, so I'm going to feed them exclusively red magic for the next week to see if I can get their colour to change. I'll give you an update in a few days to see if the red magic had any effect on their colour or behaviour. Hey guys, how's it going? It's time for an update on the red magic experiment. Did I keep our sea monkeys in the pink as promised? It did indeed. The sea monkeys in this tank are all doing great. As for turning them red though, I'm still not entirely convinced. I haven't noticed any significant colour change, but perhaps after another few weeks it might start to have some effect. I'll continue feeding these guys the red magic and let you know down in the comments if I notice any changes. As for the eggs we saw in here under the microscope, it appears they've helped to boost the population in here, as there's now a whole lot of new babies swimming around. So overall the red magic has kept this red planet lively.